Right guys, now I know a lot of you have asked me about Scottish history, William Wallace, all that kind of stuff. And today, at the William Wallace Monument in Stirling, they have invited me out there and hopefully I'll get to learn a bit more about William Wallace and the Battle of Stirling Bridge. All that kind of stuff should make a good day out. And I've been to the Wallace Monument before and it's always been interesting. Hopefully this will be something you guys will enjoy. We just stopped for a bit of lunch just now and we're on our way. It's about a 45 minute drive from Edinburgh to Stirling. Got my best tartan shirt on for the event. Let's do it. All right, we are here in Stirling. It's been a long time since I've been in this city, but it's very green here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up to the, the monument now and see what's going on there. Despite the fact that it's already September, it's actually quite warm today. Still hanging on to summer here in Scotland, just a little bit. Although it won't be for long, I'll tell you that. Okay, we're just waiting in the queue for the minibus. See behind me, the monument is up there. Apparently it takes 15 minutes to walk up there. Wallace Monument is also a Pokestop. Nice wee welcome pack to tell me what's gonna be going on today. First of all, there's actually actors coming here to enact something out the back here. And watch them before we climb up the top. Oh wow. I like that one. Various birds of prey out here. That is an arty the widow. And that's some kind of hawk out there. That one. He's an impressive animal. Isn't he? Wow, you're a pretty bird, aren't you? What kind of bird is that? And a little child is safe, please. Okay. Wow. Okay. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the size of his eyes. <laughs> wow. Look at those eyes, they're huge. Look at the There you go. Some birds of prey lined up here, we've got some different owls and hawks. They're really beautiful. The Wallace Monument itself looks beautiful with the blue skies. Mm -hmm. It's like a, that's taking over William Wallace Gym and Pokemon. <laughs> I think there's going to be a performance now, so we're going to check it out. Now, if you'd like to hear the story of the Battle of Stirling Bridge, the most famous battle in Scotland's history, which was fought and the fields below us here 719 years ago, then please do come with me. Now, in the lead-up to the Battle of Stirling Bridge, William Wallace led a small army. Well, it was a band of men more than an army, but he joined forces with another loyal Scots nobleman called Sir Andrew de Murray, who had been leading a similar force in the north of the country. And they joined forces and laid siege to the English garrison at Dundee. This is where they were when they heard the news that Edward Longshanks, King of England, had sent an army north to try and crush their little rebellion. What's your name, sir? Sean. Sir Sean. You're very tall, sir. Never got that. Where are you from, Sean? From Edinburgh. You've just been free them. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> Right, we're going up the tower now. Uh, it's pretty high. Going up that way. Not sure how many steps are all the way up, but it's quite a lot. Put it that way. It's going to test our endurance as we go up. And that's really narrow, windy staircases as well. This here is the Hall of Arms. <laughs> There's a hollow key to this is just not to look down <laughs> for the there's like little window spaces here.
You alright? <laughs> We're almost at the top though, the last few steps. I can see sunlight. I can see the sunlight. Almost there. Yes, we're here. The top of the Walls Monument. Yeah. Tell you guys, I think I've told you guys before, probably a lot of times. I am afraid of heights, terribly afraid of heights. cold actually so I'm gonna head back down. What a view from up here you can see in all directions. It's really cool. I bet you going down is even more difficult because it's so steep. I'll take a photo of breath up there. Just do a selfie breath up there. Right, I think that's it for us. I'm going to head back down to the car park. Yeah, it was enjoyable. It's been a long time since I've kind of done any historical Scottish stuff. And it's a shame really because it's good to know about your kind of history of your country. Take a kind of woodland walk through the, through the trees here. On our way home back to Edinburgh, that was a really good fun trip. Uh, before I went, I just grabbed a nice coffee from the William Wallace Legends Cafe at the bottom of the hill. Cracking name, unfortunately we don't have time to stop there very long, but a uh, bit of caffeine to fuel the way home. I highly recommend anyone, even if you're not, even if you're from Scotland, to come here and give it a shot. If you're not from Scotland, obviously, definitely a place to come and, come and spend a few hours. Hmm. Cheers William Wallace. And uh, a toast to the Battle of Stirling Bridge. Surprisingly, still quite a lot of people here in Edinburgh. A lot of tourists and stuff. I thought everybody went home after the festival. Our name is not really the easiest to remember, but if you're gonna remember the spinning blowfish, just this, it's a blowfish and it's definitely spinning. Well, that was a pretty unexpected turn of events here in Edinburgh tonight. Good fun. Uh, some kind of crazy event here in the Scottish National Gallery. Loads of fancy people in tuxedos came and went. Uh, but also we, we saw a band that I'd never seen before busking on the streets called the Spinning Blowfish. And those guys were really, really, really good. One guy had the bagpipes obviously in the middle and other guys playing guitar and drums. Really good band. Uh, I'm gonna link to their Facebook actually, they were that good. But uh, yeah, crazy, crazy night. I should probably take some things back because I said Edinburgh dies a death in September. And I think tonight, if anything, proves that it doesn't really totally die. Anyway, it's been a good day. We're in Stirling first of all, seen the Wallace Monument. Now came into town in Edinburgh just to do a bit of shopping and ended up having a great night on the street. And now we're gonna take a drive around Arthur's Seat and play Pokemon. Mm -hmm. 